our next class of English. So as you all know, we have already revised the rules based on adjectives. We have done the meaning of adjective. We have done the various six types of adjectives. So after doing that, we have one more topic left in our book that is degrees of comparison. So we all know that we have three degrees of comparison, the positive, the comparatives and the superlatives. So today we are going to learn how you can change a positive degree, degree into a comparative degree and into a superlative degree. So there are some rules for that. So we are going to learn that today. But before I start, I just want you to enjoy one video based on a birthday party. Do you all love to enjoy birthday parties? Do you go to birthday parties? So today, let's have a look at one birthday party. And while watching the video, also note down the adjectives or the degrees of comparison that has been used in that clip. After that, we learn more about degrees of comparison. So, are you all ready for that? Alright, let's go. Pam, you look amazing. Your dress is so beautiful. Not as beautiful as yours, Jenny. And you have a new hairstyle. Your hair is shorter than before, but it looks more stylish now. <laughs> Thanks! Wow, look at your shoes! They are so fancy! They are very cool looking, but less comfortable than I thought. And they're the most expensive shoes I've ever bought. The worst choice ever! Are you enjoying the party, girls? Yeah, we are. Everything is so delicious. Have you tasted these snacks over here? But these ones are tastier because they are so spicy. Just try them. They are tasty indeed, but not as delicious as this salad. And it's the healthiest choice, by the way. Kristen is so happy. She's got so many wonderful presents. She's got a new smartphone. I wish I were as lucky as her. Her smartphone is the slimmest phone on the market. It is much slimmer than mine. My phone is older than all the other phones I see. I wish I had a more modern phone with a larger screen. That's the least important thing in life to make you happy. A more modern phone won't make you happier. My phone is as old as yours and I don't need another one. Kristen is so happy because she has many friends. I think she is the friendliest person I know. Yes. She is considered to be the most popular girl in school and the most loved one. Who is the boy next to her? That's her brother, Paul. I met him at the chess club. He's the most talented chess player in the club. And I think he is the most intelligent student in our school. Is he older than Kristen? Yes, he is two years older than her. He is as handsome as Kristen. But he is not as sociable as her. He doesn't have too many friends. He is quieter and more sensitive than his sister. He studies harder than her. His marks are better than Christian's. But she is funnier and nicer. I get along better with her than Paul. Of all my friends, she is the easiest person to talk to. And who is the woman talking to Kristen right now? Oh, that's her mum. She is the kindest and most generous person I know. She loves helping everyone. She has a very good heart. Look! 
The girl coming towards them is Christian's and Paul's sister, Vivian. Really? But she looks very different from them. She is taller, has darker hair, and looks much older. I think she is the least attractive of them. Her clothes aren't so fashionable as her siblings. Well, I think she considers character more important than appearance. She may be less attractive than her siblings, but she has a nice personality. Everyone likes her. She is indeed the oldest of them and the tallest member of the family. She is a basketball player. They may be very different, but they love and support one another. That's the most important thing. How's it going, guys? Are you having fun? Yeah, we're having a great time. The party is awesome. I absolutely love all the treats, and there were so many beautiful surprises. The best part is yet to come. Just wait and see. Happy birthday! The cake tastes just as good as it looks. It has the most wonderful flavor I've ever tasted. <laughs> This is a great party. I'm having so much fun. Pam, you are the best dancer in our class. Why won't you join us? I would be the worst dancer in these shoes. They're so uncomfortable. So anyone is a better dancer than I am right now. Oh, you poor thing. Next time I buy shoes, I'll take care to choose the most comfortable ones and not the best looking ones. So, hope you do like the video. Did you enjoy the birthday party? Did you listen to the conversation that was going amongst the friends? I hope you have liked the video and did you know the degrees that have been used? So, did you get something about the degrees of comparison now? If no, then let's learn it in a more advanced way by looking at the rules and we will be following each degree one by one. So let's start. Degree of adjective. There are three degrees of adjectives. One, positive, e.g. fast, great, old. Two, comparative, e.g. faster, greater, older. Three, superlative, e.g. fastest, greatest, eldest. A comparative adjective is used to make a comparison between two things. This comparison may show equality or inequality between two things. To show an equal comparison, you need to use an adjective between the subordinating conjunctions as. To show an equal comparison, use the form as, adjective, as. Example, Julia is as tall as the bookshelf. Example, the water is as cold as ice. The light shines as bright as the sun. The runner moves as fast as the wind. The apple is as red as a fire truck. The giraffe is as tall as the tree. That clock is as old as my grandfather. His voice was as loud as thunder. The truck was as big as a house. Your book bag is as heavy as a rock. To show an unequal comparison, you need to use an adjective followed by the subordinating conjunction than. You may have to double the final consonant letter for some comparative adjectives. To show an unequal comparison using an adjective with one syllable, you must add ER to the ending. 
Dennis is older, old, than Kiki. I am taller, tall, than the bookshelf. My dog is faster, fast, than my cat. The soup is hotter, hot, than the milk. The rock is harder, hard, than the banana. Yuki was at school earlier, early, than I was. Rice is stickier, sticky, than salad. This exercise is trickier, tricky, than the last one. My little brother is sillier, silly, than I am. This picture is prettier, pretty, than the other one. Positive degree. A positive degree of adjective is used with one person or thing only. It is used when you don't make any comparison. Examples. Rohan is a rich man. Mumbai is a big city. A superlative adjective is used to indicate that one thing has some feature to a greater or lesser degree than all others in a given context. For example, if Bill is 45, Ted is 27, and Amy is 43, then Bill is the oldest in the group. To show an unequal comparison, you need to use an adjective followed by a preposition such as of, in, on, etc. It may also be followed by the noun in which it is the greater or lesser. It may also be followed by nothing else when the context is implicit. For superlative adjectives with one syllable, add est to the ending. Adjective plus est preposition. Example, Annika is the tallest of the three sisters. In this example, one thing, Annika, has one feature to a greater degree than all others, the three sisters. That building is the tallest, tall, in the neighbourhood. Aunt Janet is the oldest, old. My bicycle is the nicest, nice, thing I own. The Komodo dragon is the largest, large, lizard in the world. Mount Denali is the highest, high, mountain peak in North America. Jones is always the earliest, early, to work. Dogs are the friendliest, friendly, animals on earth. That is the prettiest, pretty, ring I have ever seen. The black mamba is the deadliest, deadly, snake in the world. It is the costliest, costly, in North Carolina. So, I hope you have understood the rules based on the degrees of comparison. So, let's recall all the things that we have learned once again. Comparatives. We use the comparative form to compare two people, animals, places, or things. That smartphone is slimmer than mine. Paul is older than Kristen. This salad is tastier than that snack. She is nicer than him. Her phone is more modern than mine. Paul is more sensitive than his sister. Vivian is less attractive than Kristen. You are a better dancer than me. Comparisons with as as are used to say that two things, animals or people, have the same attribute. I wish I were as lucky as her. Paul is as handsome as Kristen. Not as as is used to say that two things, animals or people, do not have the same attribute. Not as as and less have the same meaning. He is not as sociable as her, or he is less sociable than her. Vivian is less attractive than her siblings. Or Vivian is not as attractive as her siblings. Superlatives. The superlative form is used to describe the extreme quality of one thing in a group. Her smartphone is the slimmest phone on the market. She is the friendliest person I know. Her mom is the kindest person I've met. 
That phone has got the largest screen I've ever seen. She is the most popular girl in school. That's the most important thing. She is the least attractive of them. You are the best dancer in our class. That was the worst choice ever. So that's all for today. Stay safe, stay home.